play guitars. Let's go build some jump. All right, um, first things first, I need to plant the bridge, make sure we get it in the right place and get the bushings in the right place this time. Um, from there, incidentally, uh, the drill bit that I need for the bridge bushings is the same size as the jack hole, it cracks me up every time, which we still haven't drilled, so we can go ahead and do that too. Um, once the bridge is in place, then we can see how much room we got for a bridge pickup. Since uh, the ABR1 tunematic will be offset a little bit, I'm thinking I'm thinking it'd be best to get it in place and then place the pickup. Because um, in this particular case, uh, since we have uh, pickup rings to deal with, they take up a little more real estate, and I don't know. I think it'd be best to uh, try to place that with the bridge located. Because as soon as we get those cavities routed and the bridge placed, then we can start carving and then see what we're going to do with the uh, controls. A um, couple other things I want to do. I've got a couple little places that need to be filled a little bit. Um, one of them is actually on the fretboard inside the binding. This one little spot. Um, I'm not extremely happy about trying to fill that, but we need to do something. I was planning on uh, making a truss rod, truss rod port cover with this, uh, but there should be plenty of material left over that I can build just a little platform for the nut and I probably ought to do that before the truss rod port cover so we can do those two things as well and I was toying with the idea of putting a scary little pumpkin face in the truss rod port cover the few times I've delved into uh, the realm of marquetry or inlay at all, I can count on one hand and have fingers left over, so I'm kind of afraid to uh, screw that up, because I'm fairly certain I will, but I don't know, it's, it, I, I think it'd be fun, so I think it's worth trying, and I'm never going to get better at it if I don't try, so but for the time being... Um, we can make a little nut shelf, and then we can mess with all that junk later. So, place the bridge, route the pickups, I need to make a new template for that as well, because that's my template for a humbucker, and I need something that's longer so I can prop it up so that it's at the right angle. You know, like I said, there are a lot of other little things we got to do, like uh, fill a couple spots and try making our little pumpkin face. And that's where we are right now. To try to avoid a repeat of the tunematic debacle of 2015, <clears throat> got me a little piece of uh, scrap poplar laying around. Uh, that's the right width where I can place the bridge and it reaches the side of the body where I can clamp it down. Um, I have a little piece of dowel that is just the right size to pretty snugly fit into the bridge post holes. 
I'm what I'm thinking is um, I'm gonna try to place it perfectly on this thing so I will have a guide that will let me place those post holes exactly where they need to be I guess if I can uh, get me a template with perfect placement then we can find something that's the right width to give us a center point so I don't know that's my plan we'll see what the hell happens I'm just gonna pay, poke a hole and then we'll figure out where the other one goes poke a hole poke a hole I shouldn't have sunk that old. No, I needed to. Dirt, 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 let's see here. If I have a punch that's the right way. I do not. That one's fairly close. Okay, now get me a scrap that I can uh, try to put bushing holes in with this template and see if it works. Like a glove. Hmm. It's pretty damn close to center, but it's hard to tell when it's on an angle. I think I'm just going to poke it a little bit with the uh, quarter inch just to get the placements right and to override my little pokey marks. And then we'll go with the big bit. Pushing bit to uh, center on those, that'd be awesome too. Yay! Ah, 
finally something worked out right the first time. Guess it pays to take time and double check and triple check and quadruple check. And more importantly, make a damn template. Well, I suppose we better worry about the stop tail too. I wanted about an inch and a half behind the bridge, so... centered as you can get. That's a lot easier to visualize. I got a clean square line to look at I'm confident that'll be alright now see if we screwed up Yes. <laughs> Those are going to be so cool. What I'm going to do, I'm going to mark what I think is the center both of these and then we'll square it up to where it's kind of an average between them and my template actually has center lines so I need to make a new template but it'll still be using the same center lines since I have a center line we'll use that like subscribe watch